Okay, so now that your papers are all painted and dried, <clears throat> we're ready for step two of this project, which is to draw, cut, and assemble the collage. What we're going to need, to need for this project are your two pieces of decorated paper, scissors, a glue stick, or some liquid glue, and we'll need a Sharpie or fine point marker of some kind for drawing the flowers. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is cut your background paper. And this is actually big enough to make two gardens. So if there's someone who wasn't here and didn't get to make the background, you could share it with them. Or you could make a double garden and they look really nice standing one in front of the other. I'm going to cut a line, sort of a curvy, Think of them as curvy mountains, just down, up and down. And they don't have to be exactly the same size. You don't want big ups and downs, just gentle, gentle rolling hills. Then the hard part is deciding, oh, which one am I going to use first? Oh boy, I think I will use this one, okay? Now, this particular project, it's called a concertina because that's the name of the fold that we use. To, so that this can be stood up later to make a 3D picture. So here's how you make the fold. You take this edge and you line it up. And don't just do it sort of, you really want it lined up nicely. Nothing sticking out here, nothing sticking out here. Hold it here and then fold it here. It's really nice if you take either a bone folder like this or a straight edge, side of a pencil to make a really crisp fold. Now, I just take the top piece, not the whole thing, and I take this line and line it up here. Hold it and fold it. Again, if you crease it, you'll get a really nice fold. And I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing again. This one lined up here lines up with this. Okay, and now I have a wonderful accordion. If it looks like a W, or an M, you've got it right. That way, it will stand up. So I'm all done with that. I'm gonna put it aside for a minute. And now I am going to have fun doodling some flowers. For that, I'm going to need a fine point or a Sharpie marker. And sometimes it's helpful to have something to look at. This book has some wonderful flowers, all different shapes and, and colors. So that's what I'm gonna look at just to give me ideas. But really, I'm just going to have fun doodling. I'm going to show you a few, and then I'm going to put it in fast forward. So maybe I'll start at the middle. I might make little centers. I might make big centers. I might make fat petals. I might make skinny petals. And you don't have to worry about being perfect. If it goes outside the line, it actually ends up looking cool. I might go back and put some dots inside. You get the idea. Turn these wonderful shapes into different kinds of flowers. This one might have many little flowers. You get the idea. Have fun, and you can make all kinds of flowers. They might even be silly imaginary flowers. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so once you've doodled your flowers, it's time to go back and just give it a quick look. Too often we think, oh, we're done, and just stop. But sometimes it's nice to go back and maybe add a few details that might make your work more interesting. I like that idea. I might add a few dots here and there or some outlines to make it pop. This one looks like it needs a little something. Maybe just an outline would help it maybe some dots around this inside. Take your time to give it a good look and see if you need any improvements. Okay, so once you're done, you're gonna cut this out. 
The trick to cutting this out is take, the, take your scissors and make some smaller sections. The other very important thing to remember when you cut this out, excuse me, you didn't get to see it, is to leave some white around the edges. Do you know why? You're gonna be putting this against a colored background. Those white edges act like an outline. It will make your picture, show, your flower, show up much better against the background. So take your time to cut them out. They don't have to be cut perfectly around every petal because you do want to have that white outline. Don't forget that. And you know, what you'll do is cut out all your shapes. I am going to do some of that off the camera. You don't need to sit here watching me. And the wonderful thing I love about collage is you can try all the different th elements before you glue them down. Now, there's one important thing to remember before we glue it down, and I'm gonna tell you now in case I forget, is when we glue it down, we wanna make sure we're not crossing the fold because when this thing folds up, if it's crossing the fold, you're gonna have to fold your flower. I forgot that on this one and see what happens to this flower. It went a little bit over the fold. So we'll remember to do that. So I'm gonna take some time to cut out all my great little flowers here. And I'll see you back. So I've cut out all my flowers plus some different shapes of leaves. And now I need some stems. I can do that by taking the leftover pieces of paper like this and simply cutting some white strips, which is what I did for the one that I made earlier. But I also have for you, and I'll share with you, is some of my cut up an old green file folder and it makes great stems. So we can use both. The next step is to get your background concertina folded paper and start arranging. Remember what I said, you wanna make sure you don't cross the fold line, you have to fold the flower. So for instance here, I might make that one there and this one here rather than making them across the fold. So have fun, arrange. The first thing though, before you do your flowers, it might be simpler to glue on your stems first. So you want to have some that are short, some that are tall to make it much more interesting. So some are gonna go high up, some down low. Get those cut. Get them glued on, and I'll see you back here. So remember to have some stems up high, some down low, and don't forget, you should not cross the fold line. So have fun arranging your flowers, try them different ways, and when you like it, glue them on. So the final touch is to make sure your concertina folds up and this one is over the fold line so I'm going to just slide that over a little bit so I don't have to bend it. It's folding nicely. And then do you want to go back and add any little details? Perhaps you want to outline a leaf or maybe you want to add some color accents here and there. Maybe I'll go over that with a little bit of orange. You get the idea. Have fun. Look to see if there are any details needed to make your artwork pop. And when you're all done, don't forget to send me a picture of your work. I can't wait to see it.